everybody doing today? Let's talk. Oh, I was just sitting here thinking about how glad I am that we made the decision to keep our son home from school so he can do virtual homeschooling because with everything that's going, you all see it, you all see it. Everything that's going on in this world is definitely the best decision that we could have made. Parents and the kids have to worry about if your kids are gonna make it home from school. It's a no-go for me. It's a no-go for me. It's, it, it's an easy decision from there. I don't know how long it's going to take us to feel comfortable with sending our child to school because whatever needs done, it ain't getting you know, done. I know. We talked about this before. We talked about this. I did a live and everybody was commenting and I was open to all of the comments. But somebody has said, oh, Gina, you got to kind of like just let him spread his wings. He's, you know, 15 years old. And I heard your comment, right? But then you don't expect as a parent to send your child to school for that following day to never see your child again. You don't expect for that to happen. And that's what's happening with a lot of families around the world. Like growing up. Uh, this video might be all over the place, but growing up, you didn't have to worry about being safe in schools. At least I didn't say school was a safe place. It was fun to go. School ain't fun to go no more. Feel free in the comment section below to comment your thoughts. I'll be in the comment section below, you know, like talking and chatting with you guys and seeing what you all are talking about because this is a super interesting topic that needs to be talked about. Now, we've talked to our son and we have asked him, like, what's his opinion? on the things that's going on, you know, in schools and stuff, you know, about him, whether he wants to do the homeschooling versus in-person. And we got his opinion. And his opinion is that he still wants to do in-person school, right? But the ultimate decision, you know, me and my husband make the ultimate decision, right? Even though what he wants is to be in physical school, right? So we made the decision to put him in homeschooling, even though he does want to go in person. At some point, the adults got to make the best decision, right? Because what I think is, you know, at the age that he is, these kids or it's, it's, it's kind of like they're numb to the situation, right? Because they're so used to it. They're so familiar with this going on. They're constantly hearing it in the news. They're constantly seeing it happen, you know, monthly and all kinds, you know. This is normalized to them. And to us, it's not, right? Th this is not normal. And so... You know, it does boil down to, I'm sorry, we love you, but you will do homeschooling because you're, it's the best decision that we're going to make for you because you are still a child. So as I think of my childhood and most likely your childhood, it was so much different. And we know things change, right? Because we see it. But just memories of when neighbors used to speak, right? The neighbors would make sure that you were doing what you were supposed to be doing. And if you didn't, they'd be sure to let your parents know, <laughs> right? If you didn't do the right thing, they'd take care of you. And then they send you home to your parents and then they'd take care of you, right? So it's just, it's not that anymore. Because now you have to tell your kids, Make sure and make sure when you walk in, don't step in, don't be standing in nobody's grass because you might not make it home. Don't accidentally knock on the wrong door when you're going over your friend's house because you might not make it home. Those conversations are being had. 
And back in the days, we didn't have to worry about that. You knocked on the wrong door, you just knocked on the wrong door. Sorry, ma'am, I got the wrong wrong house. I meant to go a door down. You, you know, like, like kids was friends. And now, this is absolutely berserk. Over what you're looking at, your child might not make it back home. Things is different. Things is different, y'all. And it, it's some people out there need to wake up. And if you ain't woke up yet, wake up and smell the coffee. As I sit back and think about my childhood, how on a Friday night, we all would gather together around one TV to wait for the next Three's Company show to come on. When nowadays the kids is waiting for the next Black Ops to come out or Fortnite and how, how the game has changed. <laughs>